accidentally deleting files. It's happened to the best of us and the rest of us. So whether you've just put it into the trash or deleted it permanently, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through what happens, when you can recover it, and how to go about that process. So let's jump right in. And first of all, we're gonna look at if the file is just deleted. So I'm gonna take this sample file and delete it. And then what I can do here is go to trash and there it is. So if you need to restore it from here, you can click here and restore and it'll go back to your Google Drive, just like that. So let's delete it again. Now one thing is if you have many files in here, you may be wondering how you can find it. And so you can search for it right here search for sample file. Now, one thing is if you search for sample file, by default, it's not gonna search in the trash. And so if you go to location here, you can then go to trashed. And now we can find it there. The other option as well is you can go under the advanced search and make sure you include in trash here before you search, just like that. And so if you found the file in this context, what you'll have to do is actually open the file and then click take out of trash once you've opened it. At this point, now if we go back to my drive and refresh, there's a file there. And so finally, let's look at if it's permanently deleted. So you've deleted it from your drive and then you either cannot find it or it's been more than 30 days or you emptied the trash and so it's not even in the trash. So what are our options here? So one thing to keep in mind is that when you move things to the trash, they will be automatically deleted after 30 days. Now, if you delete it from the trash, Google gives you 25 days where it'll keep it on its servers. So if you let it sit in the trash can and it removed by itself, then essentially from the time you originally deleted it, you have 30 days plus that 25. But if you empty the trash, you only have 25 days from that period to recover your files. So let's jump into how to recover your files. So one thing to keep in mind before we jump into that is when you recover your files, you have to recover all the ones that were deleted from trash. Google does not allow you to specify one file to recover and it will recover them into your main drive. So make sure to clear out all the files in your Google Drive so that way when you restore, you can easily determine which ones have been deleted and recovered and which ones were originally there. And so you could even create a temporary folder to put those items in. And so then after you recovered, you can sort through the ones that you didn't wanna recover and re-delete them and then keep the one that you were trying to recover. All right, so that being said, let's jump into the recovery process. So in your Google Drive, click on support and help. Then we're going to go to recover a deleted file in Google Drive. So it may not show up here. And then you can just type recover right here and then recover a deleted file. And so it gives you a little info here on what can and cannot be recovered. And then here's the requirements. And so again, here's that 25 days. So you can check your own Google Drive to see if you perhaps have a different criteria but as far as I know, this is the current criteria across the board. And then the last thing here is that you also have to be the owner of the file. So if you aren't the owner of the file, make sure to ask the owner to restore that file and maybe assign ownership if that's what you need to happen. So once you've gone through those things, then you can go to the file recovery process. And just as a reminder, this won't be one file, it would be all your files that were deleted. So you'll have to sign in again into your Google account Click next, and then it's gonna run you through a quick process. They wanna make sure that you've already checked your drive and your trash. And then if you've done that process, click no and continue. Then they'll ask you to verify your location. And so in my case, this is no. And then the file recovery limitations. And so they give you a little bit of detail here along with a date for you. And then we'll click, I'm not a robot and request file recovery when we're done. So what happens now? So at this point, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get an email with a case number, and this just alerts you that they're starting that process, and then what's gonna happen is those files will start popping back up here. And then you'll get another email 
when that's done. All right, so this process is done. If I check my Gmail, I can see my case ID and it says my recovery is complete. And so at this point, now I can just check my Google Drive. And so I have a other file and a sample file. And so this is the one I wanted to recover. And so now I can rename it. I can do whatever I need to. And then my other files, I'll probably want to redelete them, but you can always check as well because you may have more than one accidentally deleted. But if you're confident that those can be deleted, you can redelete those. And now that you've successfully recovered your file, you can continue on with your life. Now, if you did not find the file in the recovery, I'm gonna tell you most likely it's gone. Most of what I've heard and experienced is that after that period, they just don't have that data any longer. All right, so that is it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel if this video is helpful for you. Check out the other videos on our channel for tutorials on Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.